Hey guys, and welcome back to the Retrothon. Today we have an amazing racing game for everyone after Sonic Drift. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> yeah, why? So. Oh, I get it, I get it, you tricked me. <laughs> Jinked again by the Great Papyrus. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, Sonic Drift is a game. That's one yeah. way to put it, I guess. It's, Certainly. Yeah. We're going to actually be doing Sonic Drift and Sonic Drift 2 in this session before we go on to Mario Kart later. But what we're going to be doing is we're going through the GPs of each each of the games. So, mm -hmm. you get to see basically all the tracks in the game, except probably not the last one of two, but that's because you need to actually be good at the game to unlock that. <laughs> But yes, Tom, why are we here today? We are here to raise money for the Child's Play Foundation, a, uh, a charity dedicated to providing children in hospital with toys and games to help ease their stay. If you've ever been in hospital, you know, despite the uh, doctors, nurses, and other staff's, uh, you know, best efforts, it sucks. I doubt anyone actually likes staying in hospital, you know, cut off from friends and family and uh, just forced to buy there and chill and get better and whatnot. So um, just imagine what it's like for a child and time moving ten times slower. But giving them these toys and games just allows them to have a better time in there. And uh, that's probably why we um, chose Child's Play in the first place, because we can relate to that. I'm a man child, I'm not going to talk for flame. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I can relate to these kids. And uh, we're actually not far off from breaking... Uh, 3k for child's play here the original goal was 1999 because we were playing games made before the year 2000 and uh you, you know retro fun and all that and uh, we smashed that we absolutely smashed that so uh being able to break 3000 would be great mm -hmm. so i just had to fix something there because twitch decides to auto play in the background even when i'd already clicked pause so yeah. oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, just it's a shit show of shambles. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it seemed to be holding up alright, but I don't really want the stream playing because I don't want that eating all my bandwidth while I'm trying to stream at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do, fellow gamers in the chat? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, Tom, have you got any experience with this wonderful game? I think I may have tried out Drift 1 because it's actually an unlockable on Adventure DX last time I checked. I think that's Drift 2. I, oh, because Drift One, as far as I know, was Japan only. Okay then. Well, uh, yeah, it's not great. I was rather <laughs> play uh, Super Mario Kart any day of the week. Uh, I like the Drift games for what they are. You know, like it is a little bit difficult on the eyes with this flickering light from the stripes on the racetrack. But you know, I can look past that and have a decent time with it at least. <laughs> Let's uh, get some information about the game, because I can't imagine uh, this is going to be long. Uh, no, not really. Like, I, th I think there's six tracks to a cup, but like they're all taking me like a minute, so you know. <laughs> Alright, Sight Drift is a kart racing video game by Sega. Only released in Japan for the game game March 18th, 1994. It has Sonic, Tails, Amy, and uh, Dr. Robotnik. It was developed by uh, Sega and Arc System works. What have they done? Let's have a look here. Uh, final Lap, Double Dragon for the Mass System, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts for the Mass System, Moonwalker for the Mass System. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Battletoads for the uh, the Mega Drive in Game Gear. Wasn't even aware there was a Mega Drive version of that. Yeah, there is. It looks a lot better than the NES one, but I don't know if it plays better. Okay. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, Supersonic Warriors for the Game Boy Advance. Tons of... Uh, Guilty Gear stuff, a lot of family games, uh, wow, they've put out a lot of stuff, uh, Extreme Butoden for the 3DS, and their most recent one was uh, Grand Brew Fantasy Versus for the PlayStation 4, which is uh, coming out this year. Oh, right, so Sonic Drift didn't kill them, that's good to know. <laughs> yes, yes indeed. So yeah, for Sonic Drift 1, the tracks are all like adaptations of Sonic 1 levels. Uh, Sonic Drift 2 gets a lot more creative in that respect, and there's some more like original stages. Oh, but yeah. it's, they all still kind of look like recolors of the same track, so not that it really matters, but you know. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, they also made Dragon Ball Fighter Z, so uh, there you go. Alright. Yeah, same development company. <laughs> So yeah, 
yeah, gameplay wise, the hint is in the title. You do better in this just by drifting the best you can, which it actually controls better than you might think from looking at it. You just gotta like slide around the corners and it really isn't that difficult at all. It's just yeah. like once you realise that's how the game's working, you know, you can kind of ace it. Like there is a hard mode. I'm not playing that because it's less difficult and more just annoying because the other cars just getting your way more. Oh, okay. Okay. Which I have done my time with hard mode, but you know, I just want to keep things I've, going smooth. But... I've done my time with this shit. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and there's video evidence as well, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> yeah, and no one asked you for it, so... I asked me for it. Nobody <laughs> asked you for it, Flame. <laughs> uh, save image as... I'm just bragging about her, knowing that to drift and um, fight Z were done by the same people. <laughs> oh, God. Spades on while I'm watching Sonic Drift. <laughs> Perfect. Really, yeah, it? yeah. The the run before this was a uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater one, so I figured I'd just have some uh, like compilation music on. So fair one, yeah. Hmm. Question from Gold. So Tom Flame, what is your preferred Sonic racing game? Uh, Transform decide as it's the obvious favourite. Hmm. Like I. I don't know really, because like, Sonic Racers have all been so radically different. Like, ours kind of endearing, although that's mainly because of the soundtrack. Uh, if we're, like, I kind of like all of them. Like, I like Rivals. I haven't played Rivals 2, so I don't know whether that would be a consideration. Rivals 2 is better than Rivals 1, I'd say. Not by much, but... I have heard that. Like, I suppose it has got Race to Win, which makes it better by default, but you know. Mm -hmm. I fucking love that song. Good man. Can't fight you for it. <laughs> the Ace of Spades! The Ace of Spades! <laughs> I, I can't say Sonic R. It just doesn't handle well enough. I like the concept, but the execution is lacking. Uh, I, like, it's fiddly. So that does kind of hold it back. Like once you start realizing that you can just hold the button down to like keep going forward rather than trying to do the awkward claw on the D-pad thing, it becomes much easier. But still, fair dues, mate. Oh wow, great! You are number one. Is that it for Sonic Drift? No, there's two more cups. Oh damn! <laughs> are you doing all the cups in Mario Kart 64? Uh, yeah. Well, okay, all cool. four of them. Gotcha, gotcha. So we've got three in this game. Uh, I think there's. Three or four in Drift 2, and then there's four in Mario Kart 64. So we've got plenty of okay. racing games today, folks. Yeah, I've already ordered dinner, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be uh, waiting on you or anything. <laughs> cool. Let's scream up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music. <laughs> So how is the music of the game? I, I gotta say, I can't say I've ever gone and listened to the OST. You're really not missing much, if I'm being honest. It's like very basic Game Gear stuff. Mm. I haven't really got that creative through it at all. Like, to be fair, it is another one of them things that I think the Game Gear sound chip's kind of killing it, rather than like you know us being able to give it a fair shake, but still. Yeah, I'm just wondering if uh, this Eggman would make for a good emoticon. Hmm. This is like the most basic bitch call play out possible. <laughs> no. Da, 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 da. Apparently, Sonic Drift 2, according to Samurai Snake, uh, has better music. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I guess I'll give the VOD a listen back later. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to sacrifice your quality classic rock now for some. Sonic Drift music, you can find it on YouTube. <sighs> no, I'm good, <laughs> thank you. Uh, they don't even have different stages for the different cups? Uh, not in this one, they don't too. Like, the tracks uh, have different layouts. It's still like the same 
things, but again, I'm pretty sure they changed that in two. My God. You know, I won't be satisfied unless we do a complete Sonic Drift run. Mm hmm Yeah, the one song that you will recognise that we've had a few times already is the Invincibility theme, whenever you get the Invincibility power-up. That is a Game Gear re remix of You Can Do Anything. Ooh, neat. Toot Toot Sonic Warrior. Yeah. <laughs> this one being awkward because of this bit at the start where you got to do a sharp drift left and then instantly a sharp drift right. Mm -hmm. It may have been on Gems Collection. Let's have a look, shall we? I think it was on, on one of the PS2 collections. Let's have a look. Uh, games. Uh, yeah, Sonic Drift 2. Nice. Yeah, I keep forgetting Vector Man Streets of Rage were uh, unlockable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vector Man's pretty chill. Mega Collection was like the one with all the games people wanted, and then Gems Collection was, and the rest. Um, well, I suppose Gems Collection had like CD and Fighters and whatnot, didn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. If they included the remastered versions of like 1 and 2 and maybe did 1 of 3 and K, I'd love a new Sonic collection. You're not getting 3 and K, you know it's not going to happen. Just call it Sonic the Hedgehog Museum collection or something. Yeah, but you're still not getting 3 and K because Sega don't want you to have 3 and K. Well, fuck Sega then. <laughs> Vector Man was great. It's not the best game ever, but I enjoyed it. Uh, THG and I have actually done a full playthrough of that on HFC. Mm -hmm. I love Vector Man. Like, Vector Man, it's more difficult to get a grip on, I found, but, you know, I still liked it before it was. Yeah, it's like a, a cult Mega Drive game that I just really like. Yeah. Good on you, man. Man, the AI is just not trying. <laughs> it's really not, no. Starlight. Unfortunately, without the best part of Starlight, which is the music. God damn. <laughs> It's still kind of pretty, I will say. Mm. Yeah, Starlight looks nice too. I like the uh, the blend of uh, blues and greens. Yeah, it's like the background is great. Like the background of Starlight has looked great in like every time it's shown up. But you know, like here, I, sp I suppose it is let down a bit by like the stripes on the racetrack, which I wish they'd kind of toned down because it is a little bit of an eyesore just looking at the track and seeing it flicker. But, well, you know, don't forget this is being played blown up I assume. The Game Gear screen was much smaller. Yeah I know but like you know I, I remember seeing some games like on the SP and whatnot that were kind of flickery on a small screen as well. Ah. Sonic's not upset he's just determined. Yeah he's dedicated to win the race gotta go fast. Yeah, he's handicapped himself here, just so the others can have a fighting chance. And he's not going to be, you know, the loser in a kart racing competition. So that's why the hell he's in a car. Yeah, that is why the hell he's in a car. <laughs> uh, now onto Scrap Brain. Yeah. 
Come on guys, only $175 reduced away from breaking 3k. I know you've got money there for the kids. I can smell it. Being able to smell money would be actually a really useful power to have. <laughs> it would, it would. There's a new uh, Team Sonic Racing uh, trailer out now, by the way. Oh, is there? Oh, is it yeah. off another track or more music? It's uh, just a basic one. Oh, okay. Ooh, comes okay. out in um, May, I believe. Oh, I hope someone commissioned that for a quick look. Yeah, Bridge Zone is a bot, mate. There's a jam, and dare I even say it, a tune. Mm. It's called CH00N, by the way. Absolutely, yeah. Like, the Game Gear can do good music, it's just not really being utilised the best here. No. Well, I remember the uh, Game Gear version of Mega Man actually having some decent music. The only letdown there was the actual sound effects. So what I remember from that is that whenever like Mega Man would fire his little shooter it, and it hit something, it'd sound like someone smacking the side of a can. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, so that's two cups I've perfected so far. Let's see if I can Good do the you. third one. <laughs> Well, at least uh, I can put, he perfected those two cups on your tombstone. <laughs> yeah, that would be like my life's legacy. No. I'm going to bury you in a cart-shaped coffin. I'm okay with but that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, no, instead, I'll normal coffin, I'll drive your corpse into it instead of lowering you down. <laughs> <laughs> Works. <laughs> and then Lake 2 comes out, picks you up and puts you back in the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn. Okay, this is where the other racers decided they'd actually try. Uh -huh. Still, I want to perfect every race in this game just because, you know, dedication mm -hmm. to the cause. Fair do as well. Yeah, freeze music alone makes it a bit of a, uh, a controversial thing to even discuss, never mind to actually put into practice for remasters and whatnot. Mm, yeah, like, I feel like if they're gonna start negotiating that shit, they'd probably be best leave it a little while, you know, let, mm -hmm. <laughs> let all that shit pass. Yeah, I get you, mate. Although, you know, if someone pops up every couple of years of this, right, so... <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's the point. Even if they change the music, then eventually someone would mod, it, mod in the original music, so it's yeah. no biggie. I don't know. I think uh, I know Christian Wyatt doesn't want to be the remasters guy, but I would love Free and K remastered. I'm sorry, it's just the best two D Sonic game. That's not C D. <laughs> well, I suppose if we're talking two D games in general rather than just the classics, I'd say Advance Two. But like out of the original games, I'd say C D is the best one. Okay, Mania Two definitely has to happen with all original stages and bosses. There will be a sequel to Mania regardless, just because, you know, it printed money for Sega. But yeah, it did. The, I'm the, amazed the, they haven't done it before, honestly. Yeah, like, I suppose they, this is the first time they've had a team who actually seem to understand what it is people like about Classic Sonic, because they've tried to appeal to Classic Sonic fans before, like with Generations and like Sonic 4 and that, but, like, just not getting it. So, like, <sighs> you know... I mean, it's like, say, oh, do you want this? No, we, we want this. Oh, you want this? Okay. And that is kind of generalising, but that's that. That's fucking hell. That's how it comes off like. Yeah, it's like, you know, it, when it's done internally at Sonic Team, whenever they try to do throwbacks and that, 
it feels a lot more cynical. It feels more like just ticking boxes of people like Classic Sonic. Okay, we're putting Classic Sonic in. You know, people like 2D gameplay. Okay, we're going to have 2D sections. It, it doesn't seem to actually understand what it is people like about Classic Sonic, which is like the momentum-based gameplay and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I hope many choose all original stages, because, um, like, the first one I get, I get why they did it. You know, it was a lot of effort to make original stages, so balance that with, um, you know, the remixed ones of old, and, uh, you got yourself a winner. And, um, I don't know. Yeah, but I want two original stages for, uh, two. Give them a longer dev time, give them all the budget they need. Yeah, like, I'm not too optimistic, because I know what Sega are like, but if if we were going to have Mania 2 any way we wanted, then yeah, as much original shit as possible, please. Yeah. Though maybe they'll have some nostalgic throwbacks to the first Mania with levels like Green Hill and Chemical Plant, just to appease fans. Oh my god, my head is cringing into my neck. <laughs> uh. Or is that why they couldn't use Ryan Drummond, like, past uh, Heroes, because he was in a union? Uh, that was one of the things going around. Uh, I don't know the legitimacy, but, um, like, the specifics, but I remember hearing that when they were working on Generations originally, he was approached, but their terms for signing him would be that he would have to leave his union, which he didn't want to do. Yeah, fuck that. So, like, that's just why that never came to be. Disappointing, honestly, disappointing. Don't fight against Jason Griffith. I eventually grew to love him. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta bring T-Lobes back for the music. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, the Mania soundtrack is fucking spot on. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, just in case you guys are wondering what Sonic game we're doing next for Hellfire Comms as a regular playthrough, uh, it's gonna be a complete redo of Black Knight with uh, new footage, new commentary, etc. Don't worry, the old one isn't getting like replaced or anything, it's still gonna be there. Uh, the one from uh, 2009 or so, but uh, we just figured yeah, some of them needed redoing, and Black Knight was definitely one of them. Yeah, plus I need to inject my correct opinions into that playthrough. Alright, Flame, you're the one running games for charity. I won't shit talk you right now. <laughs> I should run games for charity all the time, just do everyone, just so I have this immunity from whatever you actually want to say to me. <laughs> well, I probably would destroy you within a couple of weeks, so yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> uh. Then you're about to have played Black, played Black Knight for yourself, wouldn't you? Mm. I don't mind Black Knight. I don't think it's like a terrible game or anything. You've said Secret Rings is better, which is like more insulting than it is to be. I'm gonna stick with that. I think it is. Besides the fact that you don't automatically go forward in Black Knight, which, you know, it has that over Secret Rings, I do like Secret Rings better. Uh... It has better environments. It has. Arguably a better soundtrack and a better story. Oh, uh, I would say wrong on all three fronts. Well, that's uh, a topic for the play for, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have another excuse to call Tom like wrong with bad taste. Well, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> God, there's something about Tails' pitch black eyes on the map that just... Uh. <laughs> I will be doing Lancelot Returns, God, so... Good stuff. Depending on how I feel like spreading out the extras, that may end up being the final part, we'll see. Okay. But there we go, that's all three cups from Sonic Drift done. So now I'm just going to have a slurp of drink, then I'll load up Sonic Drift 2. Hmm... What has worse controls? Sorry, what we're we talking about here? 
probably the uh, storybook games, which Secret Rings does have much worse controls. What I don't get is why did Black Knight even need to be on a track at all? Like, it just makes it more clunky. I don't, I don't know, but like, I like the sword, so that's fine to start. Okay, so Sonic Drift 2 has another three cups. It has purple, white, and blue this time for some reason, but let's go into it. God save the Queen! Yep, so there's more characters here. I think I'm gonna keep going as Sonic, but you know, you can also get like Metal Sonic and Fang. <laughs> I wanted to Bang check the what they're actually calling him in this run, this game. <laughs> Let's do this shit. Mm. Yeah, so this game is a little bit prettier. It plays basically the same, but you know. <sighs> yeah, the presentation is a step up already. Yeah. Slightly better music too. So. Sonic is still as determined as ever. Yeah, he wants to fucking win. <laughs> I think the issue for me with the story in Black Knight is I felt Sonic had a better connection to um, Shara than he ever did to Merlina. They didn't even really spend that much time together. Yeah, well, for me, like, I am swayed a bit more by the setting, because, like, I just really like the whole, like, Arthur in England lore. And what I, I don't think they lent, like, heavily enough on it, honestly. I'll give you that. I just think, like, just the world and, like, the fact that it's got that kind of inspiration behind it, I, I like that a lot. Mm. And yeah, this game's a fair bit harder, as you can probably tell by everyone overtaking me. <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry, you don't have to perfect this. <laughs> I don't know, we've, we've got until next year for the next marathon, I can keep going as long <laughs> as we need. <laughs> yeah, and that's the one actual control change, well, like, mechanic change between the two games here, in the, in the first game, any items you pick up, would just kick in automatically, here you have to push up on the control pad just to use it. So you've got a little uh -huh. bit more control over what's happening where. <sighs> so yeah, it's the first race of this thing that I haven't won. <laughs> mm -hmm. And for Hilltop Zone. So even just like this checkable gear is much easier on the eyes than say the stripes from the first one. Yes, yeah I can see that immediately. Mm. <laughs> of course the problem with giving you control over your items is I managed to throw them right in front of me. Mm. Is this meant to be Hilltop Zone? I looked away for a second. Yeah, it is. Cool. You don't have your pawn groove music though, unfortunately. As, as the audio holding up guys, so I think it's the same as the first game, but just in case anything's changed, let me know. Yeah. Knuckles wins. No, he does. Knuckles is probably going to win this cup. That's fine. The audio is fine. Good stuff. Awesome. So, is the first original track, Dark Valley. Ooh. And I think you can fall off this one. There won't be much of a Dark Valley if you couldn't. <laughs> Audio is good and the music is better. Nice. 
Because yeah, like this stage theme is a little bit more atmospheric, and yeah, there, there are holes in the track here, as you just saw. <laughs> Oof. Fuck you, Knuckles. I'm gonna pretend that the uh, the hand that picks you up is the combo capture. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> From uh, uh, Chaotix. Yeah. No, Knuckles. <laughs> this is a fight now. Yeah, there's definitely rubber banding AI in this. Yeah, they do just like jump ahead when they feel like it. Like Tails just literally did. <laughs> well, you're ready for that in Mario Kart 64 as well. Yeah. Uh, is there a list for this marathon? Yes, you can find it below. Uh, the schedule is just below the stream window, and there is a donate button as well. This is actually the final day, so uh, yeah, we have uh, after this it's Mario Kart 64, and then Dungeons and Dragons Arcade. Mhm. Mm and yeah, there's the helpful little chat prompt. Yeah, that Casino Night looks great in this. Oh wow! Yeah, kind of does. And you have got the bounce pad thingies on the road as well, and the different things that, you know, get you stuck in the actual casino night. Mm hmm Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, and I really like the whole gold colour scheme they're going, got going on around the borders of the track. Mm hmm Uh, which game for the D&D Arcade? I will just check with Digi. Spark, would you link the, uh, the playlist for, uh, the, uh, the VODs on, uh, YouTube? Uh, let's see, where's this yet? Uh, which D&D game is the arcade one? Oh, he is offline right now. Yeah, okay. We'll find out later, it'll be a surprise. Man. Yeah. Tails is really giving me a hard time here. <laughs> Uh, since we're on the uh, racing game blog, how do you feel about the Crash Team Racing remake is including tracks from Crash Nitro Kart, that's from Silver Lid. That's cool, you know, that's more content. Uh, yeah, same, like, I've only ever played, like, the arcade mode of the first one, so having some what will be new tracks for me will be cool. Mm hmm I'm not a big fan of their retro, like, skin for Crash this after though. It doesn't look like, you know, the PS1 model, so it looks a bit fake and tryhard. I haven't seen that. Like, I haven't seen much of it other than, like, that one trailer, but, like, you know, I, I am down for more mascot racers. That is kind of like my chance. Yes, yes, yeah. I'm actually uh, kind of looking forward to, um, what should we call it now, uh, so Team Sonic Racing. Yeah, like, that, that is probably the game I'm looking forward to the most at this point in time. Yeah. We got some proper, like, loopy, driving up the wall stuff in this course. Oh lordy. Sony Kart has potential, I suppose? Hmm. I, I don't know if they'd pull that off quite so well, given if you look at like the choices they settled with for the All-Stars battle thingy. Yeah. You know. One thing I still miss is they never went through with Donkey Kong Racing for the GameCube. Oh, yeah. Where you rode like animal buddies and whatnot. Alas. Yeah. 
fuck's sake, Tails? <laughs> Is he pwning you? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tails won that one. Alas. I mean, if you stay the course, you may end up winning just by proxy. Mm. I'm still ranking first in this overall, somehow. That's what I'm saying, just make yeah. sure Knuckles doesn't come above you in the next race and you should win. Yeah, well, let's try that, and this course looks cool. Ooh, Iron Ruin. Mm. Uh, the team mechanic in the new Sonic Racer, if your team loses, do you lose two, even if you're in first and they suck? I'm not sure. Mm, we'll see. This looks like Oil Ocean with the colour palette of Lava Reef. A little bit, yeah. It's definitely like a darker version of Oil Ocean, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a cumulative. What's that when it's at home? Is it like all points added together? Uh, I think so. I, I've been trying to piece together how the team mechanic works because, like, like I'm quite simple. I see characters driving around a course, and that's me happy. So everything else, yep. I'm just waiting to see. <laughs> I see Sonic. I clap. <laughs> <laughs> that, but unironically. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of fucking up here. I think Knuckles might have this one. <laughs> it's fine, mate. Don't worry about it. Put my pride. No, flame. No. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I got the thing that reverses your controls right at the end. Did you fail? I failed. I'm not the end yet, but I failed. Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, favorite, favorite, yeah, done. <laughs> I fucked up. Let's see how this works out. I came third. Aww. Oh. I won by one point. Oh, wow. You jammy gear. <laughs> oh, well, I'll take it. Yep. What's the deal with the emeralds underneath the, uh, the points? Uh, I think that's just, like, showing which... Like how many tracks you want. Uh -huh. Look at this jamming it. I only won one but ended up <laughs> winning the thing overall. Oh. Okay, let's go on to the next uh, cup. Okay. Da, 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 da. I just want to fucking buy tickets to Endgame. Damn you, <laughs> Showcase! Give me it! Are you on like F5 duty right now? <laughs> sure am. Nice. Uh, Desert Road 2. So yeah, the tracks, the ones that get adaptations here are still playing a different order, so like each cup is a little bit different. But on the first one where it just like changed up the course layout a little bit but left everything else as it was. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. <sighs> oh, I would like to book tickets, uh, more dates. Saturday, select a show time. Hmm. Confirm and book. Six. I win. Yeah. <laughs> Spokesman. 
rest I don't wanna breathe, I don't wanna hear about life. Dun 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 dun. Sonic Drift musical. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm, I'm trying to book tickets for something IRL right now. Okay, so I want to say this track, aesthetically, in its base form, it looks gorgeous. The problem is that there's also a lightning mechanic that completely flashes the entire screen at certain increments. And it's mm. kind of annoying! Um, probably a good time to mention it given we're on one of the appropriate courses for it, but this game does also have the Mario Kart 7 thing of where like some tracks are a circuit but others are like just a straight through track. Fuck off! <laughs> right at the end, goddammit! <laughs> uh. Ice cap! Uh, did Tom die? I'm still here, I'm okay. focusing on stuff. <laughs> okay, you just went quiet for a while, so I got worried. It's cool, mate, don't worry about it. Ice Cap looks really pretty in this game. That's a lot. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I'm just gonna be RB five yeah. minutes or so. Yeah, okay, take me. So I shall try and carry the commentary for the very simple racing game all by myself, folks. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. I will see what you guys are talking about in between races, but I kind of got to focus during the race. <laughs> I seem to be neck and neck with Eggman through most of this, so let's try and just push him out a little bit. Because I think he's most likely to be the threat to my cup total. And I do want to get some rings because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but like there's a mechanic in this that I think you can spend three rings to get an extra boost. That's what I've been doing periodically when I've got a few going and it can help you overtake guys. So it's just kinda useful to keep an eye on it. And of course Eggman overtook me in the last minute. <laughs> uh do you really want to, Flames? Uh I dunno. I can't help but feel like if there was a clone of me, like we'd probably just be arguing all the time. A hilltop two. Now the rubber band is a little bit bullshit, but you know I can kind of take it. It does keep you on your toes a little bit at least. Oh crap! You can do it, mate. I sort of believe in you. <laughs> I 
I'm sort of grateful. <laughs> We're back in the hilltop. <laughs> oh, hell yes. <sighs> oh, did I really go for that whole soundtrack? No, I just muted it. <laughs> Oh, lordy. <laughs> so how are you doing on this cop in particular, mate? Uh, so far, I've been around the first and second mark of Eggman through most of it, although this one seems to be going a little bit worse because Fang's in the lead now. Okay. Come <laughs> on, we go. You can do it, mate. I believe in you. <laughs> okay, second, but I'll beat Eggman, so that should help on the whole. Mm-hmm. I try letting them tailgate me sometimes, Snake. It's just kind of hard to, you know, line yourself up sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mystic Cave. Yeah. So the interesting thing for me here is that this Mystic Cave level in here it is like just a big tunnel. That's how they kind of adapt the cave to work in a racing game. And there's mm -hmm. also a Mystic Cave level in an indie game I played a little while ago called Slipstream. That oh, like, no. a lot of the levels in that game are just named after Sonic levels. Like there's an aquatic ruin. There's a I think there's a Stardust Speedway. Just like because that's just their naming feature. Just nick stuff from Sonic, but I don't mind because it's cool. But like mm -hmm. that, that game, I like that a lot. <laughs> yes, this is indeed Team Sonic Racing. Yeah, this is just like a preview for you. <laughs> Back here, you chuckle fuck. There we go. Mm, you can do it. <laughs> I sort of believe in you. You're not saying this to Knuckles, are you? <laughs> Um, can't <laughs> confirm, not to die. Uh. I'm watching these donations, guys. We have uh, one more game after this from Flame, and then one more in general, and then we're done. And we're only about $175 dues away from breaking 3k. Nice, yeah. Okay, nope, that's a wall, that's a knuckles. <laughs> Fuck yeah, first. Nice. Whew. I'm feeling the speed right now. Nice. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> As I over crash into the back of Knuckles. Yeah, that's the opposite of going fast. <laughs> uh, sorry if I seem a bit distracted. I'm doing multiple things right now. No, that's fine. I can always pile on more things for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know why Sonic just spun out there, given I wasn't drifting, but okay. He wasn't believing in speed enough. <laughs> Maybe I needed to drift. <laughs> Preferably not into a palm tree, though. So how many cups do we have left in this air track thing, mate? Uh, just the one cup. Now. Cool. Good shit. So fang one that one. Let's see how this all adds up. <laughs> Eggman actually looks like an egg on the map. I just realised. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I got full. I got 14 points overall, so I won the second cup. Let's see if I can win the last one. Good on you. I'm gonna try my best. Because I think if you do win the cup, it's either win the cup or win every race, but like there is a secret final race against Eggman, which I don't Ooh. know if I'll get that. We'll have to play it by ear and see. Mm -hmm. Spurs says he wants the angry Eggman for a HFC Rage emote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to get first in all races for the thing. Okay, that probably ain't gonna happen then. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I think it is more just a standard rematch against Eggman on the final level rather than like something actually, you know, unique. So I mean, it's not the end of the world if we miss it. Right. Track with holes in it, lovely. <laughs> I'm checking to see if there's any new donations. Uh, we have a $25 donation from Goldstorm07. That 3000 total sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? It does indeed. Yeah. Gold, thank you very much, mate. Yeah, thank you very much, dude. I'll go ahead and uh, pull that in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So we're now roughly about 150 away. Nice, I reckon we'll make that, come on guys. You can spare 10 dollars dudes. come on guys. <laughs> Keep clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm a bottle of nerves right now. Nah, that's fine, mate. Whew. First. Hell yes. Okay, so it looks like Metal Sonic's gonna be my rival through this one. Mm hmm. Quake Cave. That sounds dangerous. Are you choosing the rival, or does it get auto selected? Uh, the thing it shows is the person who's closest to you, but it's just like it seems. What I'm referring to as rival is the one who seems to be closest to me. <laughs> so, like, so the one I've got to try and keep ahead of to not lose me overall points. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, we get sudden earthquakes in this level when rocks fall down. Oh, lovely. <laughs> But like, it's little extra details like that that make this like a big improvement over the first game in my ass. Mhm. Mm yeah, the whole presentation just seems better. Yeah, and I will say like, probably a hot take given I know this is kind of a meme game to a lot of people, but like, I'm really enjoying this. Like, I really like this game. Mhm. Mm 
Keep trying, Demo, she'll get your ticket, mate. Hmm. So, what really deserves remakes? I wasn't paying attention. Can't see the chat. I'm too busy trying not to let Amy overtake me. <laughs> <laughs> she must not be allowed independence. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. It's just the way. Oh, no, nah, she beat me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just keep trying, Davos. Just keep trying. Balloon panic. Well, I'm panicking, and I'm a balloon. <laughs> You're not a balloon, Tom. I am a balloon, though. <laughs> Alas. Yeah, it's gonna. This is like one of the big films of the year, so they're definitely gonna be uh, bombarded. Yeah. Probably by some fucking scalpers as well. Mm. Oh, yeah, their boss have already got hundreds of them. Yep. Well, this... What's the name of the track you're on now, mate? Because it's got palm trees, so it's confusing me a little bit. Uh, this is the balloon level. Okay. got a very upbeat like, song to it. Okay. So, you know, it's a massive tone of dissonance after we've just had the dark cave. Yeah. Oh, is that Sonic Robo Blast 2 car, Silver Dude? I've seen footage of that over the past week or so. I was wondering, like, was it a regular game or just whatever? Oh, that's a fan game that's been going around. It looks kind of cool. I haven't really looked much into it, but I've been seeing the GIFs for a couple of months or so. Uh, 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 so, Tom, am I right to assume you were also booking a ticket or two for Endgame earlier? I'm trying to. I, uh, I have to wait a little bit for reasons. I'm just uh, refreshing the page to make sure they don't take my seats. And this level's really pretty. It is, it looks nice. What's, what's it called? Oh, uh, I can't remember because I went past the title card. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, I love how Metal Sonic is abbreviated on the, the result screen. Oh yeah, M Sonic. Masonic. <laughs> Yeah, Masonic as he lifts up his fedora to be nice to us. <laughs> no, he takes his head off and like, <laughs> dabs, dabs it like a fedora. <laughs> oh god. This was, as you know, says Silver Dude. The M is meant to be for Mr. Sonic. Please, that was my father's name.
M Son also has implications. God. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have used that there because it let him just start under me. <laughs> And that was Emerald Ocean. Nice. Milky Way. Is this the final one, or the second to last? I think it's second to last, but it looks really cool. Okay. So basically, this game's space level, which you gotta have. Mm hmm Music sort of reminds me of like Starman's thing, like particularly from the Game Gear version of Mega Man. Oh, okay, I haven't. Um, obviously, it's not really my forte. The game boy games, I play the NES ones. Yeah, fair. <laughs> this one does look nicer. Hmm. Like I, I like Mega Man Game Gear. What it basically does is it like adapts it, like takes levels from both four and five from the NES ones, and just sort of puts out like an abridged game with a few of the extra robot masters in the boss stages. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Though it does really get irritating with a screen crunch in certain sections. Mm -hmm. You know, you get plenty of like you jump down and there's spikes below the screen that you had nowhere seeing before, and so it's very trial and error in that respect. Yeah, I got you, mate. And I fell off. <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> now you can just see the death egg in the background there. Oh yeah, you can. Kind of blends in with the other planets. That's neat. Mm. Crap. <laughs> this race isn't going too well. <laughs> not what I like to hear, Flames. Not what I like to hear. Oh, yeah, because we drove into the Death Egg. That's what's going on here. So the final stage is the Death Egg itself. Oh, that's cool, actually. Yeah. There we go. That's it. Preparing the uh, post from Mario 64. That's fun. Sorry you're having trouble booking stuff, Demos. Again, it's a, a popular movie. See you in a bit, so. Ah, uh, Digi is online now. Oh, nice. What I reckon we do after this race is, because of how I've got the stream set up, I shouldn't need to take the stream itself down. So what uh -huh. I'm going to do is just mute, have a quick break for a couple of minutes, and then I can rerun. Like, we can sound test for Mario Kart and then we run the bumper and just go from there. Okay, man. So then I can, I can still grab it for the archive after the fact. You got it. We're still $150 away, guys. Can we break 3k for child's play? Yeah. So, here we go. One of the cups there. Nice. And there we go. I am the Sonic Drift and Sonic Drift 2 champion. The... That's one for the CV, right? <laughs> so that as real as my YouTube Let's Play career, mate. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, we take it for what it is, so... Uh -huh. Oh, the game's saying thanks. And uh, you. Yeah, basically. You too. <laughs> so, there we go, folks. In a few minutes, we'll be back with Mario Kart 64. So, we'll 